so now I'm about here and what I need to do is to knit the part that will cover uh, this part of the dog's body uh, in order to do that I will have to divide my project into four parts in order to divide my project into four parts I will again use some maths, the rule of three. So up to here I have knitted about 35 centimeters and I know that my dog's length is about 50 centimeters. So I have 35 centimeters but I need 50. So I, the difference is 15 centimeters. So I need 15 more centimeters now uh, according to my gauge swatch in order to obtain 10 centimeters i need 15 rounds or rows if you need with two needles but uh, because i need 15 centimeters i will need to calculate this so what we do is that we are going to multiply 15 by 15 and then divide by 10. This is an easy one. So so I will need 22.5 rounds in order to obtain the height I need uh, to cover my dog's body up to here. Of course, I cannot need a decimal, as we always say. And uh, because this is exactly five, I can go down to 22 or I can go up to 23. I'll choose to go to 23. Another thing that I should um, think about is that I am going to use some of uh, these rounds in order to create the rib uh, edge of uh, the sweater. So if I want to create, let's say, three centimeters of uh, rib uh, stitch, I'm going to need 4.5 rounds. So if I take out, let's say, 22.5 minus 4.5 I get 18 so I am going to need 18 rounds of uh, uh, stockinet stitch let's say and then I will um, need 5 rounds of rib stitch another thing I should uh, think about is that I also need to create the shape the curve for the sweater uh, and in order to do uh, so I will need to add decreases and I will need to add decreases in order to create the short rows, I mean to give the sweater this uh, shape and I have to distribute my stitches in such a way so as to these decreases to be on both sides uh, and uh, evenly distributed. First of all, you should have a stitch marker at the beginning stitch of, your, of uh, the sweater. I have lost my pink stitch marker so for now I will use this white one until I find my pink stitch marker. I know that this is the beginning stitch of the sweater so this is uh, my starting point. Let me put it here because it gets off all the time. But, uh, as I said uh, what we need to do is first to count our stitches so I know that this is the first stitch of my sweater. I have counted my stitches and um, there are 84 stitches in total. Because if you remember, I started knitting with 61 and then I dropped one, so I had 60 stitches. And uh, then with the increases, now I have 84. 
And uh, what I need to do is to divide these 84 stitches into four parts. One part will be the part of the tummy. The other two parts on both sides will be uh, the stitches that I will use for my decreases. And the bigger part will be the part of uh, the top of the sweater uh, that will cover the back of the dog. Let me show you. So one part of the sweater will be the part that will cover uh, the both sides of the dog. The other part will be underneath the tummy and then I will have this part which won't be straight because I will shape it with the creases and that will go from its tummy to its tail. And in order to do that, as I said, I have to divide the sweater into four parts. So now I'm ready to divide my 84 stitches, uh, the whole number of my stitches, into four parts. And I'm going to start counting my stitches from this point, uh, which is the beginning of my project. I have found the marker that I've lost, so please let me place it back. And uh, this part of the sweater is the part which is going to be under the dog's tummy. For the dog's tummy, I am going to use 22 stitches, but because I need to distribute uh, these stitches evenly, I am going to count 11 stitches from the right side and 11 stitches from the left side. Please let me place uh, the marker that uh, marks the beginning of the project on the stitch because it keeps falling off. And now, as I said, I'm going to count 11 stitches uh, from this side and 11 stitches from that side. This is going to be the first step for the tummy because then I'm going to use this stitch holder and place my stitches on this stitch holder because I'm not going to knit on this part of the tummy anymore. And this is because I need to give the sweater some space for my male dog. So, this part of uh, the sweater will be shorter than the one that goes on uh, its back. So the first thing I will do is to um, count my 11 stitches on the right and my 11 stitches on the left. I am going to use a uh, different color stitch marker so I, then I will know that the white stitch markers, let's say, will um, show me, will mark where the stitches that are going to be used for the tummy are. So. As I said, this is the first one. And this is my last one. So I'm inserting the stitch marker on the needle. Please always double check the number of your stitches because uh, if you make a mistake now, I don't think it's possible to fix it later. And here I have 11 stitches on the left side. So these stitches that are between the white markers are the stitches for my tummy. This is the marker that shows me the very first uh, stitch of uh, the project. And now I need to count the stitches that are going to be for my decreases. As I said, my decreases are going to be uh, 18, but because um, they need to be distributed evenly from both sides, I'm going to count 9 stitches from here and 9 stitches from the other side. So please do that. Uh, and I'm going to use another color. So here are my 9 stitches that I am going to use for my left decreases and again on the right side after the stitch marker which is the marker for the tummy, the white one, I am going to count nine stitches and place the marker for my decreases. Let me check again. And place the marker here. So these stitches, uh, the nine stitches, are the decreases for the right side. So 
If I have um, done uh, this correctly, then I should have 44 stitches for uh, the top of the sweater. So please let me count my stitches, count yours as well, and I will meet you then. I've counted my stitches, I have 44 stitches. So these 22 stitches, I'm going to place them on the stitch holder because I'm not going to need them anymore as I want to leave a space uh, uh, without uh, knitting fabric here. This is because I'm uh, knitting um, a sweater for a male dog. If you knit a sweater for a female dog, then you should knit some more. Also, I would like to point out that um, these measurements is for this specific uh, sweater, for the yarn I am using and the needles I am using. Uh, so you will always have to use the rule of three and your 10 by 10 gauge or 4 by 4 if you measure in inches in order to calculate um, the number of the stitches and how to divide them. Now I have placed the markers around uh, the sweater. Uh, I have checked the number of, of my stitches. Please always check the number of your stitches here very carefully. And what I am going to do now is to knit one more round, but I will stop here on, uh, for me it's the white marker, which is the starting point of the stitches for the tummy and for my sweater uh, this is uh, the starting point where um, I counted 11 stitches from here and 11 stitches on the left in order to have 22 stitches so I will knit the round until here and I will stop here so I'm here one stitch before the stitch marker that is the point where um, the let's say the, the the tummy stitches are what I need to do now is just take away my stitch marker and place all these uh, stitches which are for the tummy on a stitch holder if you don't have a stitch holder don't worry you can use some scrap yarn So this is the, the middle of uh, my stitches. And this was the last one. Uh, I'm taking away the stitch marker. Now let me please check again the number of the stitches. So on the stitch holder uh, there are 22 stitches. These are the stitches for the tummy and uh, I slipped uh, these stitches on the stitch holder because uh, I'm not going to, to knit these stitches anymore because as we said we need to have a shorter part of the sweater here under the tummy uh, especially because I'm, I'm knitting this sweater for a, a male dog if you knit for a um, female dog uh, then you can go on for some more uh, rounds, but uh, it's more comfortable for a male dog to have some more space. So now I will have to knit uh, this part of uh, the sweater, but of course, because I placed my, my stitches on the stitch holder, uh, I cannot uh, work on uh, the left side now. So now what I need to do is to work uh, the sweater uh, not in rounds but in uh, rows. 
So I will have to work the sweater uh, on uh, the wrong side, uh, that is at the back, and on the right side, which is the front of the sweater. In order to work like this, I will have to turn the sweater. So for this row, I'm going to uh, knit purl stitches because I'm facing the back side of the sweater. So please knit purl stitches until you reach the other end where you cannot go on anymore because um, I have placed the stitch holder and I will meet you then. So I have reached the end of the row of uh, uh, purl stitches. Uh, I have reached the stitch holder and that means that I cannot knit anymore. So what I'm going to do is turn my work as I would uh, turn if I was knitting with um, two needles. And now I'm going to work on the front side of my sweater or the right side as they call it. What I need to do here is to start my decreases and um, we always create the decreases on the right side, on the front uh, side of um, the sweater. And uh, here I'm going to knit a slip slip knit. So what I am going to do is I am going to place both my stitches on the right needle like this. And then I am going to insert my left needle from the front side. And then I'm going to wrap my yarn around and pull it through both these stitches and in this way I created this SSK as it's called but also I reduced my sweater uh, one stitch so um, these are the stitches that I'm going to use for uh, the decreases now there must be eight stitches with this one so I in this way I have finished my first decrease and now what I am going to do is to knit the stitches. Now I'm knitting, uh, I'm using the knit stitch uh, until I reach the other side where I should create one decrease again. Here I'm um, uh, two stitches before the stitch holder and I'm going to decrease these two stitches by knitting uh, two together. So I'm going to insert the needle like this and wrap the yarn around my needle and decrease my two stitches into one. And in this way I have finished the first row of decreases, meaning that I have decreased one uh, stitch here and one stitch uh, on the other side. That means that um, if I want to check my stitches I must have the number of my stitches uh, minus 2. So here I started with um, 84 stitches, so now I should have 82. And again I need to turn my work and uh, knit a row of pearl stitches now because I'm at the back uh, side of the sweater. So please knit this um, row of pearl stitches and I will meet you at the end of this row and um, uh, the start of the next row in order to show you how to decrease one more time. Now I'm ready to turn again and start my next row with a decrease this time because uh, i need uh, my decrease to point to the left i am going to use a slip slip knit method so i'm going to slip my first stitch on uh, the right needle slip the second stitch to the right needle and then I'm going to insert the, the left knit at the front and wrap the yarn around 
and knit uh, these two stitches together and in this way I have created one more uh, decrease on the right side and now I will continue knitting my stitches because uh, I'm uh, knitting the right side or the front side of the sweater and I will um, knit the, the stitches until I reach the, the other side and there I will add a decrease by knitting two together so please meet me there so here I am at the end of the row I have uh, two more stitches to go which I am going to uh, work in the knit two together method and in this way uh, I decrease one uh, stitch from the row uh, and now I am going to work the rest of uh, the decreases meaning that I will have to uh, decrease all the, the stitches uh, that are from this side and on the other side as well I will always um, create my decreases on the front side and I will pair the stitches on the back side of the sweater as you can see here I have finished my decreases my short rows and now the sweater has got uh, this shape if I count um, I have um, 18 rows of course as I said uh, if you have a talk it's easier always please um, try your, the sweater on your dog to make sure that you have the right size uh, here I have finished working on the decreases but I would like to show you the last row because after we have finished our decreases uh, this is the last one uh, I have to decrease once more in order to eliminate uh, this uh, stitch as well so I will make one more decrease the, the last stitch of the decreases with the first stitch of uh, the top part uh, I am on the right side so I will have to SSK slip slip and knit and then I will uh, knit my stitches and when I get to the other side I will uh, decrease once more with the um, knit two together so, so please knit your stitches and meet me then So again, here I'm at the end, I have one stitch uh, from the top part of the sweater and one stitch from the decreases. Let me take out the stitch marker first and now I'm going to knit two together. And this was my last decrease. Uh, and now, as you can see, I have finished shaping the sweater and what I need to do is to reconnect all the parts in order to knit uh, the rib uh, edge another thing I should say is that there are other ways to in order to create this uh, shape uh, I find this is easier for beginners but in one of my next tutorials I will show you other methods now I am ready uh, to prepare uh, the sweater for the rib uh, edge in order to be able uh, to uh, knit in the round uh, I will have to pull up stitches on the decreases that I have created in order to pull up loops and create new stitches I am going to use a crochet hook but if you don't have one you can do it with a knitting needle what I am going to do is to insert my hook under the top uh, stitch pull up a loop and slip it on the uh, needle uh, also uh, try to not to pull up your loops too far away from each other or too close uh, because this won't give you an even result and when you finish pulling up the loops will go on 
So here I pulled up uh, the loops I need. I pulled up an odd uh, number of loops. I had uh, 18 rows but I pulled up 17 loops because when I um, uh, need the rip uh, stitch uh, it's better to have an odd number of uh, stitches in order to be able to um, knit and pair and finish uh, with a pearl stitch so I will have a nicer uh, result on my rib uh, stitch and now what I need to do is to put these stitches on uh, the left needle because I need to knit them first so we have these rows of decreases here but don't worry because uh, as soon as we need these uh, tummy stitches uh, we are going to pull up uh, new stitches here as well so i am going to start slipping the stitches from uh, the stitch holder to my left needle like this and now I don't need the marker so I can take it out so please slip all your stitches to the left needle and then we'll start uh, knitting now I have slipped uh, all my tummy stitches on the left needle uh, if you want to check the number they should be the same number uh, as the stitches you've put on the stitch holder uh, our working yarn is on the right so we are ready to start knitting the tummy stitches and we are going to knit these stitches until we reach the first decrease where we should uh, pull up uh, loops again in order to be able to uh, knit in the round so please um, knit until the end of your stitches here until you reach the decreases and I will meet you there I'm going to pull up um, stitches here again uh, in order to be able to knit in the round as I said I'm using the hook again in order to do it uh, of course you can do it uh, just using your needle like this if you prefer it's up to you and uh, when uh, you finish pulling up new stitches and then we will have to slip them back to the left needle um, I will finish pulling up the stitches and I will meet you then so I have finished pulling up my stitches uh, now I can slip them to the left needle uh, please count your stitches when you slip them on uh, the left needle now I can start knitting the rib stitch rounds. So I need one, I pair one, I need one, I pair one, and my last stitch will be a pearl stitch. And I will uh, knit uh, the rib stitch for as many rounds as I like until I reach this, the length I like for the sweater. So please go on and I will meet you after you knit the length you like in order to show you how to uh, knit the last two rounds. So I have finished my rounds of rib stitch. I've knitted uh, like let's say almost five rounds. Of course this is personal preference. You can knit uh, more or less than that. But now I'm going to finish by knitting uh, two rounds of this special rib stitch uh, which gives um, the sweater uh, extra um, elasticity meaning that I'm going to knit the knit stitches as I would normally do but then 
I am going to slip the pearl stitches to the right needle without knitting them. Just be careful uh, where your yarn is. So for the stitches which you are not going to uh, knit, you just uh, place the yarn in front and wrap it around the stitch and then you need a knit stitch you bring the yarn at the front you slip pearl stitch on the right needle you wrap the yarn and place it behind the right needle and you continue this way and now that I finished uh, the first round I am going to continue doing the opposite I am going to slip the knit stitches to the right needle without knitting them and I'm going to knit the pearl stitches just be careful where your yarn is each time so my first stitch is um, a, a knit stitch so I'm going to slip it to the right needle I'm going to bring the yarn uh, to the front and I'm going to knit my pearl stitch. Again, I'm going to slip the knit stitch to the right needle and then I'm going to bring the yarn to the front and knit the pearl stitch. And I'm going to continue this way until I finish uh, my round and I will meet you then to bind off. So I have finished the second round of this uh, elastic rib and now I will need to bind off uh, the stitches and finish this part of the sweater because I still have one leg to go. I am going to use a tapestry needle. I'm going to cut a length of one uh, meter and fifty centimeters. I know it's too long but anyway. The length of the yarn that I need to bind off the sweater is double the length of my project, of the perimeter of the sweater I mean. Now I'm ready to start binding off uh, the stitches and I'm going to do it this way. Uh, the yarn is on the right side. I'm going to insert the tapestry needle into both the first two loops, pearl-wise, at the front I mean. And then I am going to insert the needle here, knit-wise, uh, in the first uh, stitch, pull it, and then I am going to slip the first stitch from the needle, from the knitting needle I mean. And in this way I have bind off the first stitch. Now again I am going to insert the needle into both the stitches pearl-wise, and then I am going to insert the needle only into the first one knit-wise, pull the yarn and slip the stitch from the needle. And I am going to continue in the same way, inserting the tapestry needle into both stitches wise and then inserting it only into the first one knitwise, pulling the yarn and slipping the stitch, the first stitch only. And in this way I bind off my stitches. So So here I have um, two more stitches to go. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with the rest of the stitches. So pull the yarn um, pairwise and then insert the needle knitwise only into the first uh, loop and slip it from the needle. And now I have one stitch to go. I am going to insert the yarn pairwise and take away my needle. For extra security, if you find the first uh, stitch, you can insert your needle here 
and bind off. I have finished the main part of the sweater. As I told you, I should use a 1 meter and 50 centimeters of uh, yarn. And now I'm left with about uh, 36 centimeters. It's about uh, the length of um, the sweater, 60 and 60 centimeters. And in this way, I have finished uh, this part of the sweater as well. As you can see, I created this uh, rib at the tummy. What I need to do now is to knit the leg. So please join me in my next tutorial to learn how you should knit the leg.